Yes, guys, we are live. Welcome to the live stream. In this one today, then, I'll be reacting to Czech Republic 2, Wales 2, in tonight's World Cup qualifying draw in whatever group we are in. But yeah, welcome to the stream, guys. Unfortunately, as more majority of you will know, because uh, I put on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and all my social medias, which are down below in the banner. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do a watch long earlier due to other commitments, basically work, and I didn't finish until half time. So it's pointless doing a second half watch long. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the other Wales content creators who did a watch long but of course you know on this channel we do regular content we are consistent on this channel it could be a friendly it could be a world cup qualifier just like now yeah but so in this one then i'll be reviewing check about two wheels too like i said i wasn't able to watch the first half watched all the second half and i've done some research and had that look at that first half back but yeah an entertaining game in prague to all you know like i said in the previous say with mike a point would be a good result for wales and on paper it was a good result for wales and even in the game it was but i think you know we could have done a little bit more to get the three points so go on to the review then guys eight people in already so make sure you do smash a like button on the stream guys let's try and get 30 likes on this one please share around and if you have not subscribed to the channel please do it already so wales then released their team earlier on today of course just for the game an interesting lineup quite similar to what i predicted but of course big names like harry wilson were left out so wales lined up with danny ward in goal the back four of chris gunter joe Rod, and chris Mepham, and it looked like nico williams was playing left back midfield it did look like a 4-4-2 4-3-3 whatever way you want to put it so it was ethan ampadu and ramsey joe allen and joe morell in midfield and it looked like dan james was just behind keith for more who was up front so yeah it wasn't a bad team it was a bit of a shame not to see connor robert connor robert start the game of course grin chris gunter starting the game game as well. It looks like Chris Merpham with head of James Lawrence in the team as well. Joe Morell started ahead of players like Matt Smith and you know Dylan Levitt players like that. So it was interesting him starting again. Good to see Kiefer Moore back in the team after he was unavailable last month due to him being a close contact to some of the players in the squad. But yeah, going on to the game then we did all right to be fair. You know, we started the game quite brightly, but the main chance of the game, you know, in the opening ten minutes, came the Czech Republic. It was a really good shot towards Danny Ward's goal. It was a really poor throw from Ethan Ampadu, actually. You know, it was our throw in, and Ampadu just throwing the straight to a Czech Republic player. They're on the break. It's a really good save from Danny Ward to get down really low. It was a good save. And the 17th minute, then, Wales definitely had the best chance of the game, and, you know, we should have taken a chance. It was a lovely ball for Ramsey on the halfway line. You know, we had a 2 and one It was Dan James running at the defender, only one Defender. We had Keith Moore to the right. Dan James held on to the ball for too long, in my opinion. And, you know, the pass was a poor pass. There was too much weight in it. Fair play to Vaklik, the goalkeeper for Czech Republic, came out very quick. And, you know, Keith Moore couldn't really do anything else in that situation. Gets a shot on target. But for me, Dan James has got to be doing a lot better in like, those situations. You know, we've seen it with Man United and Wills in the past. In those situations where, you know, we have a two on one, he does kind of struggle in those situations. He just doesn't have the ability at the moment as a professional footballer to really work out what he wants to do. He kind of got caught into might he didn't know whether to take on the defender and you know have an open goal basically to, to tap to keep him more we did know to give it a key for more and have a shot and a Unfortunately, he got stuck in two minds, and the pass to Kiefer Moore was pretty poor. But yeah, the 36 minute, then Wales did take the lead a really, really well worked counter attacking goal. It was a Czech Republic corner, and Wales counter attacked it really well. It was Kiefer Moore, it looked like on the right hand side, lovely ball into the box. Dan James failed to connect to it, but it fell to Aaron Ramsey at the back post, who took one, two touches. The defender slid, the keeper fell over. It's a lovely finish into the bottom right hand corner for Aaron Ramsey. And you know, Wales deservedly took the lead, in my opinion. You know, we played really well in that first half, Czech Republic. Like didn't have too many chances before we took the opening goal. And, you know, Ramsey, everyone knows Aaron Ramsey's a quality player for Wales. And, you know, it's just a shame that he's not fit every single month Wales play or every single, you know, game Wales play. Because, you know, next one for there's another international break. Will Ramsey be fit? Probably not. But, you know, if Ramsey can stay fit for 90% of Wales games, we'll have a much better chance of qualifying for the World Cup with him and the team. And, of course, it was unfortunate that Gareth Bale obviously missed out on this international break. So, it was really important that Ramsey was fit and today he played really well but our lead only lasted for a matter of minutes as Czech Republic soon equalised it was a lovely you know it was a bit of a tight angle really from the Czech Republic player who takes a shot at goal Danny Ward could he have done a little bit better possibly so but you've got to be saying in those situations there's got to be a defender there to clear it at the end of the day Danny Ward made a good save and unfortunately Jacob Persic the Czech Republic player was there for an empty net so it was one all very frustrating really you know when you're taking the lead away from home, one of the main things you don't want to do is 
is conceded straight after because the home team are on top. And, you know, Czech Republic really were on top until the end of the half. And, you know, we were a little bit lucky to go 1-1 one, one at half time. But at half time, you know, I think we played all right. You know, we had a few chances. Like I said, we really should have been winning at half time with that Kiefer Moore opportunity in the 70th minute. But then going into the second half, Wales. <sighs> What on earth happened here? You know, a, a goal out of nothing, really. It was really good defensive work from Aaron Ramsey. Luck's no danger. Gives it to Danny Ward. Not too sure what Danny Ward's doing. Ramsey gives it a Ward. Ward, a moment of madness. is a poor touch. Does he even touch the ball? And unfortunately, when he tries clearing it then after he's made the mistake, it's hit the post, hit him, and gone back into the net. I think it's gone down to Danny Ward's own goal because I think it hit the post off his foot and hit him. But yeah, Danny Ward, moment of madness. It could be down to the fact that it's a lack of game time this season. I don't think he's played... I think he's played one game for Leicester in the Carabao Cup, and that's it. I don't. He's not playing any Europa League action. Not playing the Premier League, of course. So I think he's played one game this season so far. And you know, maybe the reason why he made that mistake is a lack of game time. Because we do know it doesn't matter if you're an outfield player or a goalkeeper. If you don't have a, if you don't have regular game time, you are going to make silly mistakes like that. So it'll be interesting to see what Rob Page does on Monday night against Belarus. Does Wayne Hennessy come in? Does Adam Davis come in? Who is actually the only goalkeeper in the squad who's playing every single week for their respective club? It's an interesting one. It's a clanger by Danny Ward. It's unfortunate. You know, he's done really well in the last couple of games. We'll see him on some occasions. He is probably allowed the mistake, but it's a very, very costly mistake for Wales, especially. But then, thankfully, Wales did recover. We made a few substitutions before goal. We brought Connor Roberts. We brought Harry Wilson, who was absolutely phenomenal when he came on Harry Wilson. You know, I said this to Mike in the previous day. For me, Harry Wilson has to start. With David Brooks unavailable, we needed a little bit of creativity in that midfield, and we can't just rely on Aaron Ramsey. And I just think, you know, even at 1 1, we even at 2 1 down, you know, we were playing much better as a team. If Gareth Bale was playing today, I probably think we would have lost that game because I think we were forced to bail. Without Bale, we do play a lot better football, a lot more team football in special. But yeah, it was a really well worked goal from Wales in this one. Harry Wilson, really good feet, a fantastic through ball to Dan James. Now, we all know Dan James isn't the greatest of finishers, but what a fantastic finish. One on one with a goalkeeper, bottom left hand corner, a really good finish from Dan James. That was too old. Probably a well deserved goal. You know, we were on top of the majority of that second half. And, you know, Harry Wilson, as soon as he comes on, makes an impact. Connor Roberts was an impact to that goal as well. His energy down the right-hand side was massive. And, you know, we need to keep Williams and Roberts fit, you know, especially for Monday. Chris Gunter, like I said, he's been a fantastic servant for Wales over the last couple of years, but he just doesn't have the pace to go down that right-hand side. And as soon as Roberts came on, you know, him, Mare, bump down the right-hand side was causing all sorts of problems. Two minutes later then, Wales could have taken the lead again for the second time in Prague. It was a lovely play again from Harry Wilson. A nice ball to add Ramsey. Tight angle, but he gets a shot on target. It's a decent save from the goalkeeper. On the 75th minute, then another chance for Wales. Chris Maybum doing all sorts. You know, we've seen Danny Wolf score on goal. Then we've seen Chris Maybum doing a, a Ryan Bennett plus one. Going down that right hand side. A nice pass back to Connor Roberts, who puts in a fantastic ball. And unfortunately, Keith Moore just couldn't convert the header in. It did look like it was going in from my angle. It's a beautiful ball in the head of the cross goal. And it just went wide. And Ramsey could have said he could have been on his toes a little bit better, a little bit sharper, a bit more minutes of Wales or Juventus this season. And, you know, he could have been on the back post getting a tap. And then, apart from that, that was basically the end of the game. Czech Republic had a few... You know, shots towards the end of the game. Fantastic few blocks from Wales. I think Merpin had a block, hit Robert's face in the plant in the head. But yeah, two all it finished then in Prague. I'll take that, to be honest. On paper, looking at the game, we should have won that game. I think we had a lot better chances than Czech Republic did, who had a lot more, you know, possession, Wales did, and a lot more shots. And it's unfortunate, you know, everyone knows I'm not the biggest fan of Rob Page. But for me, I think Page got his tactics spawned today. The substitutions look sharp, giving Sober Thompson a debut as well. Harry Wilson came on change the game. Roberts, when he came on, did really well. Ty Robs also didn't have much minutes. But yeah, I thought Rob Page got his tactics spawned. Now, I know I say Page out and all this or that, but. At this moment, if I'm being honest, I'm still paging. Now, I know I say page out now and again, but it's just frustration. At the minute, Rob Page is doing a decent job. It's just frustrating at times where, you know, 
tactically can do a little bit better. But today, fair play to him. He made attacking substitutions. He even took off Chris Mepp and the centre half, bringing on Tyler Roberts, trying to get that winner. But it's a point in Prague, which leaves Wales then on eight points in the group. So Belgium are first with 16, got Czech Republic second with eight, and Wales third with eight. And I don't really care about Belarus and Estonia, to be honest, because they're going to finish fourth and fifth, respectively, in whatever position they are. But yeah, Wales have just been Czech Republic then on goal difference, but we do have one game in hand on Czech Republic, which will be absolutely massive. I do believe Czech Republic are playing midweek as well on Monday, so even if they win and we win, we'd have to have better goal difference than them, so we'd need to win by a goal margin to go above them. But yeah, it's going to be an interesting one for the final couple of games in the group. You know, We're in a good position. We've got two home games next month. Our next two games are against Belarus and Estonia, respectively. Really, realistically, we should be getting six points, but again, in football, anything is guaranteed. So, we're going to go into player ratings, but I'm going to put a few comments up on the screen right now. Uh, Dylan Bluebird says, Why did James hold on to the ball so long? I know, miss, frustrating, you know, Dan James. Sometimes he can have moments like that, but again, he did show his quality today, so you could say he did cost us the win because he didn't give the ball, but then you could say, you know, without his, you know, influence for the second goal, we wouldn't have scored. But yeah, that was one frustrating thing with me with Dan James. He does have that little bit of fo- lack of football intelligence in those sort of positions. I think every time we have a two-on-one, he struggles because he doesn't know what to do. And, you know, he didn't know where to take the man on. He held on to the ball too long. And he, you know, it's not a bad decision to hold on to the ball. It was just that passing he ball was really, really poor. Because he says Rob Page likes to keep the squad consistent. Yeah, he likes to keep it, of course. You know, Wales obviously don't play every single week, not like club football. So you do have to have some sort of rhythm in there. And of course, you do get disrupted with a lot of injuries and players, you know, going out the squad. But yeah, I think he has a decent manager, managerial role today, Rob Page. I thought he did a good job. I know you're not his biggest fan, Degussie, but I thought Rob Page had a really good selection out there. And I thought his changes really uh, helped out. Uh, we love you, Wales. We do certainly indeed. Uh, Dan James needs a pass the ball, not being selfish. Yeah, you know, Dan James' quality on his day. But I think, you know, he'll learn from that mistake next time. So we're going to go to player rating. So make sure you guys put down below your player rating for every single player. Of course, we will be doing the bench players who came on as well, all four of them. So, by the way, guys, this range will be from zero for the worst performance you've ever seen or 10 the best performance you've ever seen. The average is five. So if you think a player had below average, it's going to be four and below. If you think a player had average game, it'll be five. And if you think a player had above average, it'll be six to ten. So going on to the goalkeeper, Danny Ward. Made a few decent saves in the game, but you know, the big talking points that huge mistake without that mistake, you know, we probably would have won that game. You know, go second in the group with a great chance of you know getting that playoff position. But yeah, Danny Ward for me, it's going to be a four, it's a below average performance. You know, when a goalkeeper makes an error like that, it's unfortunate, but you've got to criticize him. I think you know, his position is on the line for Monday. Will be interesting to see what Robert Page does. Will he back Danny Ward? Or will he give one of the other goalkeepers a chance in the squad? So I'm going to go for four. Degussie is going for a three for Danny Ward. Brandon Williams, a four. Our uh, hit 32 is going for a four as well. So I think four is the majority in the chat. So going on to the right back, then Chris Gunter. Again, I think he had an average game, Chris Gunther, so I'm going to give him a five. Wasn't, you know, too impressed with him. Defensively, he was okay, but for me, you know, you see when Connor Roberts came on the pitch, he was just flying down that right-hand side. And Chris Gunther, I don't think he should be in the squad, to be honest. I think there's probably, do we really need three right-backs on the squad? Probably not. You know, we could have looked for another left-back, potentially, who could have been playing. So, yeah, for me, Chris Gunter, five. Let's see what you guys say. Callum Cole's going for a four because he five, Brandon Freeze. So a few different reigns there for Chris Gunter. On to the centre-half, then we're going to start off with Chris Mepham. I thought Mepham a good game today. You know, he's not playing minutes for Bournemouth for the moment because of their centre-back options. But, yeah, he looked quite sharp today. Chris Mepham looked really good. Obviously got sub in late on as well as Wales trying to push forward for the winner. But, yeah, impressed with Mepham today against a really good striker and Patrick Schick who really didn't have many chances due to the good partnership of Ronan Merpham so Merpham for me I can give a six today I thought Merpham was impressive you know there is moments where he has you know a lack of ability sometimes offensively but you only get a good striker like Patrick Schick who's got a lot of goals in Euro 2020 you know you're going to have to have your wits about you and I thought he had a good game today Callum Cole's going for a seven because he is going for a five for Chris Merpham I think it's a little bit harsh because he I know we conceded two goals, but I don't think Mepham was at fault for any goals. Brandon Williams also going for a four there. 
On to the other centre-back then, Joe Rawdon. Again, another player who hasn't played too many minutes for their club this season. I thought, same as Chris Merton, really six. You know, we did concede two goals, but one of them was an own goal and the other one was a tap-in. So you can't really, you know, blame any of those. So I thought Rawdon, you know, did look a little bit lack of fitness at times, but he did well for the last 90 minutes and hopefully that helps him go into Monday. So I'll give uh, Joe Rawdon a six. Brandon Williams is a four there. Oh, he's going for a six. Sorry, wrong comment. On to the left-back then, it was Nico Williams. Did get some period at about the 75th minute. Clearly wasn't match fit, but I thought he did very well. I'll give him a six as well. At the end of the day, He's not match fit, not playing for Liverpool. Ideally, a move on loan away in January would be superb, heading into, you know, more qualifiers, you know, Nations League and stuff like that in January. But yeah, impressed with Williams today. A left back as well, so not playing his natural role as a right back. Really, really decent performance from uh, Williams today. So five Callum Coyles going for there. Brandon, five as well. Going on to the midfield then, Ethan Ampadu. For me, it's going to be a five. Average performance from Ampadu. Not too sure what's happened to him over the last couple of months in a Wales shirt. Hasn't really looked himself. In fairness to him, though, he is still a young player and he's been asked to do a lot of roles. Today he was in midfield, got asked to play in a back three then and also got asked to play right back for a bit in the game as well. So, yeah, Paige is asking a lot of him and I'm not too sure if, you know, it's really working for Ampadu at the moment. I thought he was average, made a few mistakes. Of course, that early chance of the Czech Republic came from Ampadu's poor throw. Yeah, not impressed with Ampadu today. I'm not sure what's happened to him at the moment. Not too sure what's happened to him. A few comments in the chat. Five. Five always moves forward. You'll give him a six. On to the other midfielder then. We're going to go for... Let's go for Joe Morrell. Again, not the greatest of performance from Joe Morrell today. An average performance. I think a five is fair for him. Joe Allen. I'm sorry. It's going to be the, it's going to be the joint lowest rating so far. Four. I thought Allen was poor today. Again, same with Ampadu. The last couple of games in a Wales shirt hasn't been great. Give a lot of passes away today, Joe Allen. A few touches are quite heavy. Looked a little bit, you know, lacklustre. I don't know what's happened to some of the players under Rob Page. And, you know, some players have improved on Page, but some players have really struggled for consistency. And I think Allen today struggled in this game. Yes, he's against a, you know, a midfield partnership with Alex Crowley and Thomas Schreitzek, but, you know, some of the passes he was playing today were poor. Five for me. Because he's going to go for a five, uh, Callum Cole's going for a four. Don't think Morel put a foot wrong, to be honest. Yeah, it was just an average performance, really, from Joe Morel. Solid, but, you know, we need a little bit more. So, on to the other midfielder then, Aaron Ramsey. You know, what can I say about Aaron Ramsey? A really, really good performance from Aaron Ramsey today. Again, did well for the last nine minutes. Not played too much football so far this season for Juventus over in the uh, Serie A. But yeah, decent performance from Ramsey, of course, got the goal as well. Could have got another one as well in the second half, but a good save from the keeper. But yeah, Ramsey, with him in the team, we just look a much better side captain today. Just needs to stay fit. I know it's hard sometimes when you've got an injury-prone player, but he's got to stay fit. For me, it's his first game since, what, that 4-0 loss to Denmark, and, you know, he looked really good. Ramsey today, I'll give him an 8. I fully dominated that midfield against a, you know, a fantastic player like Thomas Sojcik. You know, it's going to be hard to create chances, and, you know, he created a few chances, and, you know, probably should have got an assist as well if Dan James decided to shoot when he was on with that with uh, Kiefer Moore. Josh is going to go for an 8 for Aaron Ramsey. I think that's fair. Callum Coyle also going for an 8 there. Going on to the front two, then we'll start off with Cardiff City striker Kiefer Moore. Not being too impressive at club level today, but in a whale shirt, he always puts his heart on his sleeves and always tries his best. Unlucky not to score today from that header. was really, really physical today. Keith Moore had a fantastic performance from him. Again, very harsh from the referee to give Keith Moore a yellow card. When you're, you know, what's Keith Moore? 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, something ridiculous like that. Height, quite big build as well. You know, when you're that strong, you've got to use every single part of your body for advantage. And every single time the European referee gives Keith Moore a yellow card because he's jumping for the ball, of course your arms are going to stretch out like that because you're trying to leap forward and you'll get as much header accuracy on the ball as possible. It's just really unfair. And it always seems to be the European referees. He doesn't get many yellow cards in the championship because, you know, I think the I think championship is a lot more physical than some of these European leagues. Like, you know, these European referees need to understand the concept that you've got to use your arms to accelerate. Yeah, fair enough. He does make contact, give a free kick. But sometimes I think it's really, really frustrating when they give a yellow card when it's not his fault for using his arms to accelerate. But yeah, I'll give Kiefer more seven. 
proves a decent, decent performance. And again, you know, that pass to Dan James in the first half was really, really good. More eight, more eight. Uh, so unfair with his arms, he's massive. Agree. So on to the last player then in the start of the level who started today's game, Daniel James. Of course, got a goal. Unfortunately, we'll have to downgrade him for that poor decision-making in the 17th minute away. We should have taken a lead early on in the game. So Dan James, I would have given him an eight, but I will give him a seven. I think he would have been level with that, uh, Aaron Ramsey if you know he did better. But yeah, not bad from Dan James. You know, an important player. Didn't take too many men on in this game. You know, usually with Dan James, you associate his game with, you know, get the ball, run forward, cross through. Didn't see that too much. I think, you know, Paige is asking him to do a different style of, uh, you know, wing play. But yeah, James, really good finish today. Just a shame what about happened in the first half. So I'll give Dan James a seven. Brandon Williams, highest rating so far for him. He's given Dan James a nine. Make sure you comment down below your ratings. Make sure you smash like on the stream, guys. Even if you have 30 likes, and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new. So going on to the bench players, then the four players who came off the bench will start with Harry Wilson, who, let's be fair, was probably one of the best players on the park today. Even though he came on in what, with half hour left to play, 35 minutes left to play, he was really, really good, creating chances, got an assist as well. His touches look good, he looks sharp. He's had a good season so far for Fulham, and I think he's carried on that club form in international football. For me, I'll give Harry Wilson the same with Aaron Ramsey, joint higher so far. For me, Wilson had to start today's game. Unfortunately, didn't. But for me, I think Rob Peter's got to start Wilson on Monday, especially after that performance. I'll go Wilson 8. Connor Roberts, you know, not the biggest fan of Connor Roberts, as everyone knows in that transfer video where I did a couple of weeks ago when he left Swansea City to join Burnley. But yeah, 7. I thought he looked really good on that right-hand side. Had a little... I was very lucky not to score that little heel flick. Really good pass. I think it was from Aaron Ramsey. Yeah. No, from Kiefer Moore, sorry, yeah, Kiefer Moore. But yeah, looks really sharp. Corob going down that right hand side, really good cross into the box as well. Yeah, again, you know, if we started, if he started, we would be a one maybe. But again, I think he'll be pushing for a start Monday against Belarus as well. Is it Belarus or is it Estonia? Estonia, not Belarus. My bad. Uh, on to the other player then, Thomas, the Huddersfield winger who made his David today. So with Thomas, again, looked quite bright. I'll give him a six. I think he was above average, but I don't think he was on the level of Dan James, Aaron Ramsey, Connor Roberts today. But yeah, look sharp. Congratulations for him for getting his debut. You know, a couple of months ago, he's playing non-league football and now, you know, he's making his European debut for Wales, playing week in, week out in the Championship and, you know, playing international football. So fair play to him. What a story for Sober Thomas and, you know, looked really bright today. So I'll give him a six. And last player then, Tyler Roberts. I'll give him a five average. Didn't really have a chance to impress really with only, you know, eight minutes including added time on the pitch. You know, Tyler Roberts can be a decent player now and again, but realistically, when you call him off the bench, you are a little bit desperate. So yeah, that's my player ratings. I'm gonna go to the manager rating then Rob Page. For me, I can give him joint highest with the two players which I gave of Harry Wilson and Ramsey. Rob Page and eight. I thought the lineup. You know, it looked a little bit questionable, the formation and stuff like that, but it played really well. Substitution wells well, we played well. You can't you can't blame Rob Page for that Danny Ward mistake. I don't care what anyone says, you, you don't you don't blame him for that mistake. That's an individual mistake. We some of the goals he scored were really good. That counter attack was fantastic. You know, we had some really good chances. Page today, really, really good. So I'll give Rob Page today. Referee five average. A few mistakes from a few good decisions. I, I just don't understand why they didn't go to VAR for that Czech Republic player who slipped and it clearly hit his hand. So I don't understand why they didn't go to VAR for that, but it's not really the referee's fault in that case. But yeah, five, few mistakes, few questionable decisions, but that's what happens in every single game in football. So yeah, those are my player ratings, guys. So what I am going to do now is put the link in down below. So if you do want to join and talk about the game, then please do join the stream yard link, which will be down below now and talk about the game, your thoughts and feelings. So big shout out to everyone who contributed in your player ratings. Really interested to see your guys' player ratings. But yeah, just to recap, a decent point in total for Wales. You know, Czech Republic, like I said to my guess, they only lost two of their 16 prior to this game at home in qualification. So it's a hard place to go to. Hard crowd as well. You know, when you're 1-0 up and you go 2-1 down, it's really hard to get that momentum back. And as soon as we got that second goal, we looked on top. And unfortunately, we just didn't have enough quality in the final third to get that third goal. But yeah, a point, good result, of course. Like I said, that game in Czech Republic, uh, 
can't join having a wife ever using dear. No worries to Guzzy, mate. No worries at all, pal. But yeah, like I said, you know, the, it's in our hands, though. We've got three games left in the group, I believe, against Estonia on Monday, then next one against Belarus and last Belgium. I think Czech probably have two games left. So yeah. Got a game in hand against Czech Republic. And the good thing is that we play Belgium last. We've got a really good opportunity now to get six points on the board, especially, you know, three points in the next one. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. We've got a big game Monday away from home, another away game, so more travelling to do for Wales. But, yeah, it'll be an interesting one, to be honest. But, yeah, I really do appreciate the sports always. It was really unfortunate, really, how I couldn't do a watch long today. Four goals. I did a watch long for Blake Belarus at home, nil-nil. So, yeah, it's unfortunate in that one. But, yeah, if any of you guys do want to join, like I said, the link is down below. So, if you do want to join, make sure you click that. If no one joins in the next, you know, two, three minutes, I will just end the stream. But, yeah, you know, it's a good point. I, the second half of is impressive. I just can't believe that Italian won mistake, to be honest. So, you know, Monday, if I'm going to say three players who are probably pushing for a start, Harry Wilson's pushing for a start for me. Really, really good second half performance for him. Look really bright. Um, Con Roberts. Not sure if he's match fit. Of course, that was his first game since Euro 2020 against Denmark when he went off injured. Hadn't played any club football for Swans, Burnley since he's joined. So those two are there pushing for a start. I would probably say Sober Thomas. You know, a little bit of creativity on the left-hand side. He was playing like as a wing-back and left-back, actually. So he wasn't actually playing his natural position as a left-winger, but looked quite bright. So, yeah, a few selection headaches for Rob Page on Monday now. You know, away to Estonia. Of course, I'm assuming there'll be one or two players who will probably drop out you know, it's just natural, really. Hopefully, Ramsey stays fit. You know, does he play more? Of course, more is one yellow card, I think, away from a suspension. So, you've got to be careful with that one. You know, you've got to be careful because some of these players are injury prone. But for me, after Monday, they're going back to the club. So, you play your strongest team. You've got to respect Estonia. Estonia, you know, a lot of people, including myself, disrespected Belarus. And, you know, look what happened. They got a nil-nil draw. So, yeah, we've got to be careful because anything can happen in football. Estonia could beat us. We could be there or it could be a draw. So, it'll be an interesting one. But, yeah, really good opportunity for Wales to get three points on Monday now, especially after a pleasing performance. You know, that was our first game since that shocking display against Belarus, let's be honest. It was really poor. So, yeah, it was good to bounce back. Shame we didn't win the game, though. I think we did enough on paper to win the game, but it just wasn't to me. And sometimes in football, you just got to take the positives. And today, I'm looking more at the positives than the negatives. And unfortunately, last month against Belarus, I was looking more towards the negatives than the positives. So, yeah, if no one joins in the next, let's say, minute, I will end the stream. So, I'm going to put the link in one more time. So, if you guys do want to join, then please do hit the link and, you know, just, you know, just talk to me if you want. But, yeah, of course, after the international break, then back to club football against Cardiff City. So, technically, still Wales related because it's two Welsh clubs. So, yeah, that's going to be an interesting one. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to the Wales Estonia game. I also am looking to potentially go to one of the Wales games next month, either against Belarus or Belgium, to go to my first Wales game. So, I'm really looking forward to that if I can go. Of course, finances is pretty expensive, it's probably going to be about £27 for a ticket. 20 odd quid for a train so you're talking up to 50 pound there and that's not on about what time you're going to get home for, for college and work the next day so yeah hopefully I can go to the first Wales game next month it will be on the card and if I don't hopefully I can either do a match review or match watch long like I said it was unfortunate to do a match watch long today but you know I still did a review and I really really do appreciate everyone in the live chat so yeah I'm going to stream you guys there's no one wants to join don't blame them to be honest it's nearly quarter past 11 on a Friday night but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy your weekend of course not too sure what to do on a Saturday now I'm not in work thankfully tomorrow but there's no football so any ideas let me know on Instagram all my social media is down below in the description on the banner across if you do want to follow me on anything then please do it would be greatly appreciated of course I might be doing a FIFA series who knows but at the moment FIFA is really frustrating me and what am I going to do after this stream play FIFA what else is there to do but yeah thank you guys for watching really really do appreciate the sport of course it was a bit of a late one but yeah decent point for Wales in Prague Czech Republic a very good side as we know but yeah Rob Page's men getting a point over in Czech Republic so thanks guys for watching a good point for Wales I will see you on Sunday for a match live preview or maybe a video let me know on Instagram do you I might do a poll I'll probably do a poll tomorrow if you want me to do a live preview or a pre, uh, just a match record preview. I do like the live previews, but also like doing the pre record preview. So, yeah, let me know if you want. So, yeah, thanks, Brandon Williams, for joining. Thanks, everyone, for joining. I am going to go now. Yeah, decent point for Wales. It finished in Prague, Czech Republic 2, Wales 2. A decent point on the board for Wales. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on Sunday night for the Estonia vs. Wales match preview.